Okay, so in this video we want to go ahead and understand how to find the equation of a line given two points. So we're going to do an example problem and I'm going to try to teach you this or at least kind of review the concepts um, of this in about 10 minutes. You'll certainly definitely, uh, if you were confused about it, I'm sure you're, if you stick with me you're going to really understand this. And um, so this is an essential part of algebra. There's a lot of things that you want to learn um, previous to this so I'm kind of not sure where you stand with that but we'll, we'll talk about that as we go. Just be, uh, uh, before we get going in this video if you're new to my channel I am a math teacher teach middle school high school college I love teaching math I post hundreds and hundreds of videos on my YouTube channel so hopefully you consider subscribing if you like my teaching style I offer full comprehensive courses that can assist you in uh, whatever course you're taking I'll leave a link to my math learning program uh, in the description of this video. But with that being said, let's take a look at a problem. So we want to find the equation of a line. Now I'm going to abbreviate that F-E-L. So we want to find the equation of a line given two points. Okay, so here we have two points. And these are two points on the coordinate plane, right? So on the XY plane, I'm just going to kind of draw it out real quick. So here's X and here's Y. We get some point. We got a point here. We got another point here. So the objective is we want to find the equation of a line that passes through those two points. So this is a very, very standard problem in algebra and you absolutely need to know how to do it. Okay. So typically, all right, more often than not, and it's just kind of a, a, a uh, default way of expressing lines. When we want to find the equation of line. We want to write our final answer of a line in y equals mx plus b form or slope intercept form. So that's what I'm going to be doing. That's not the only way you can express an equation of a line. You can write it in standard form, which is the other um, common way. But by far, leaving things in slope intercept form is the is the most common way. So that's what we're going to do and then we're going to be getting going with our next steps here okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this two ways there's two approaches you can take to solve this problem okay so when we have two points that are on a line we can find the equation just like as our our diagram showed now the one main concept that I want you to understand is this in order to find the equation of a line okay of any line you need the slope of that line and at least one point that is on that line. Okay, So if you have this information, we can find the equation of that line and we can of course write that in y equals mx plus b form. Okay? So we need this. This is an absolute. right? Now you're saying, well here I got two points but I don't have the slope. Well, we can use these two points in order to get the slope of this line that passes through these two points and then we can use either one of these points we can use this or this as our xy point doesn't make a difference we'll get the same answer so the first step we're going to do is find the slope of this line now as I do this you should pause the video and test yourself and see if you can actually find the slope of this line because if you can't then you're not going to be able to master this skill. So go ahead and calculate the slope. I'm going to do it, but you should pause the video just to test yourself. So here we go. So we're going to take the rise over the, the run. So it's the rise over the run. The rise is the differences of the x or the y's, excuse me. So this would be 6 minus 10. Those are our y's. Okay, that's our, our um, the rise, the differences of the y's. And then the, uh, the x's, the difference of the x's is the run. So that's going to be 2 minus 4. Now notice I underlined this point first. The reason why I do that, since it's a habit I have, is if I start with the 6 on top, okay, with my y, I'm going to have to start with the 2 on bottom from this point's information. Because if you don't stay consistent in the order here, you're going to get your slope wrong. Okay, so let's go ahead and calculate this. 6 minus uh, 10 is negative 4, and 2 uh, minus 4 is negative 2, and of course that is 2. So our slope is 2. Perfect. Okay, so that's what our m is. Now, 
we uh, need to select a point. Now, what point are you going to select? Always select the easiest point. Okay, so let's say, let's just imagine uh, we have these two points to choose from 0, 1, and negative 3 halves uh, 8 over 11. Okay, <laughs> never choose this point, right? Never choose a more complicated point because it makes the math more, uh, you know, more complicated. Always stop and pause and see if there's an easier uh, point to work with, i.e., the numbers are easier. So in this case, I'll just go ahead and work with the 2, 6, all right? 2, 6. Now I can really kind of start this problem. So uh, the, the question almost changes to find the equation of a line that has a slope of 2 and runs through the point or passes through the point 2, 6. Okay? Now there's two ways you can do this. You can use the y equals mx plus b equation, slope intercept equation, or you can use the point slope equation, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. You really need to know both. I prefer using this equation here because it's just more direct. So I will go ahead, um, I'm going to obviously try to keep this video around 10 minutes but let's go ahead and find the equation here and then if we have enough time we'll go ahead and find the equation here and you'll see that it'll come out the same okay so when you use the, uh, the point slope formula you're going to be using these right here these y1s and x1s and the m are our plug-in values okay so here we're going to use this is our x right this is our y and this is our m value so this is going to be y minus what well, we got to select our y value, right? This is an x, y point. So the y value is going to be 6, right? Equals our m is our slope is 2 times x minus, and our x value here for this point is 2. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, put this equation in slope intercept form. And then what you do, you always, always do the distributor property first here. So this is going to be y minus 6 equals 2x minus 4, all right? So now all I got to do is add 6 to both sides of the equation and I get y equals 2x plus 2 and this is your answer. That is the equation of a line that runs to these two points or an equation of line that has a slope of 2 and runs to that one point which is amongst these two points okay so that's this is the preferred way of doing it I've been teaching math for a long long time typically uh, this um, process will lead to fewer mistakes it's, it's more direct but let's go ahead and and use this method to solve now here what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to solve for B the y-intercept and we're going to have to use um, our information here our m value and our xy information so here's how this works so y okay what am I going to plug in for y we're going to plug in this y 6 okay equals our slope is 2 right that's our m our x is 2 okay you see that so you see what I've done so far m X and Y, these are all, these values here all come from here. Plus B. Now be very careful because this B can look like a 6. I've seen thousands of mistakes where students confuse this because the B, this little small B, can definitely look like 6 if you're not careful. All right, so let's solve for B. So this is going to be 6 equals 4. 2 times 2 is 4 plus B. Now I subtract 4 from both sides. So 2 is equal to B. So this is our y intercept so remember y equals m x plus b all we need to write this equation is the b and the m okay well do i have the m yes i already have the m that's two so y equals two x plus well what's b well i solved for right here plus two okay and you can see both of these equations are the same so <clears throat> It's really up to you. You need to know both. There's uh, the slope intercept form definitely comes in handy. You need to, um, you know, being redundant here, you need to be able to solve in this manner and in this manner. Now, and I'm pretty sure your teacher on your tests and quizzes are going to expect you to do the same. But generally speaking, 
uh, going forward in algebra, the point slope formula is just a, a great, easy, one time remember type of uh, formula that you can do all these type of find the equation problems too. All right, so let's wrap it up. Um, so hopefully, you know, you, you got this down. Um, if you like learning from me, I literally have hundreds and hundreds of videos on my YouTube channel. Again, I love teaching math, posting all the time, different levels of mathematics. So uh, hopefully you consider subscribing. If you want to really, really learn from me um, and check out my math learning program, I go way beyond what I do on YouTube. I got complete comprehensive lessons, notes. Uh, I solve literally thousands of problems in my learning program so you can probably identify maybe the type of problem that you're struggling with on your homework or you need to learn for your test etc but anyways if you're interested in that you can check out my um, learning program by just clicking the link in the description if you like this video hey I would definitely appreciate a thumbs up and leave me some feedback let me know how school's going maybe you're struggling with a particular topic or you have a, a question try to read the comments as much as I can in my videos I do get a lot of them which I'm grateful for but it lets me know how I'm doing and also gives me ideas for future videos but with that being said I definitely appreciate your time good luck in uh, your math course and have a great day